coming up on this episode, I talk about my canceled Hurricane Orlando trip. And also, we welcome on uh, one of my best buddies and uh, and a guy who's going to be opening for me on the road, Nolan Culver. So he's going to be on. We're going to hang and chat and just do a lot of bits, honestly. It's going to be fun. But first, I want to tell you tour dates real quick. The week that you're seeing this, I'm going to be in Tampa uh, all weekend, man, for five shows at Side Splitters. All the info is in the description. It's going to be really fun. I'm excited about those shows specifically. And after that, I'm going to go to Salt Lake City, September 19th, and then Phoenix, September 20th. Raleigh, North Carolina, October 10th, I think, and then Charlotte, October 11th, and then also, I start, I want to start promoting my Boston shows, that's in November 17th and 18th, I'm doing three big shows in Boston, I haven't promoted that yet, but I want to promote it now, because those are big, important shows to me, and um, we'll see you guys there, man, and we'll see you on the episode that starts uh, right uh, now. Here we are. The uh, the episode is gonna be uh, is gonna be a little uh, a little guest driven instead of the solo setup. So we're gonna talk about some uh, do my little recap, but with my buddy here, none other than uh, Nolan Culver is here. That's Nolan. You know what I mean? We probably just switched the camera and he's looking right at a camera, dude. Just icing. I'm the a camera. pro, bro. You are a pro, dude. I get it. You definitely do get it. You are so Nolan is one of my probably longest. Stop fist bumping. Um, yes. Nolan's yes, probably yes, no no yes. no 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 no. Please don't do that. That's too much. <clears throat> Dancing's good. That mm-hmm. that I like. That mm-hmm. I like. That's nice. The snapping, that's good. If you're listening to this, you're missing out. <laughs> so Nolan's one of my probably longest friends in comedy, dare I say. Dare I say one of the longest? Uh, it's been a- <laughs> and you always do that. <laughs> that's and you always <laughs> you're, the, you're the strongest guy I know. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That people sh- if people say one thing about me, it's that my strength. It's strength. my pure raw strength. Don't let the the noises like the little kind of those types of you know the, uh, no because if I dab like you that. up I'm gonna do it you know like, uh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah yeah but strong still strength. strong thank you dude mm. yeah. well I was, yeah longest I just, been been buds for a hot set hot second and so what's cool about being friends in comedy now is now that things are going pretty well for me I can now take you with me to do shows together yeah and, and things we- are going bad for me and so that's <laughs> it's good it's good when you've been friends in comedy and one guy's doing good and the other guy's struggling it's fun <laughs> well I don't know if you're struggling but I mean you're you know you oh no are you what? okay are you struggling <laughs> no, I'm good. is everything okay no I'm good I'm good oh, it's fine no. man I've been good dude yeah? Yeah, yeah, I've been good. I'm too uh, caffeinated right now, by the way. Are you? I drank a, and that's your jam. You're a big caffeine guy. I'm actually really excited. I did, Um, <sighs> I drank one of those, I was dragging ass today, and I drank uh, one of those Celsius drinks. Have you ever yeah. fucked with those at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are yeah. your thoughts on them? They're pretty caffeinated. Whew. Yeah. I should, I almost ran here. Ener- I don't, I don't do, uh, energy drinks will get you, man. I, I yeah. try to do coffee. Energy drinks will, they'll, they'll go hard. You just you, do the coffee. You, you just do regular. I can't. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be so fidgety this fucking episode. There's no way. God, it was because I needed to do some editing before this, and I knew we had this podcast. But I already have a tendency to talk fast, and my hands always shake. That I'm like, do I? I now I'm like too. You're a little too jittery. I'm too jittery right now. I'm really trying to like hone it in. You yeah, know what fine. I mean? You're fine. Am I? Okay. Yeah, but no, it is fun, man. Buds, buds for a long time, and now you're out there. You're crushing it, and now well, we get to go. Hit the clubs. We get hit the clubs, dude. We get to go have fun. I know. It's so nice, dude. Because also, like, you're not, like, not only are we, it's, it's like the hang is so fun, but also you're so funny that I have nothing to worry about. That's what's great, dude. That's the best. When you don't bring your own openers, you're just like, here, who, fingers crossed. (laughs) Who knows the fuck is this going to be like, you know? And so when you're the buddy, it's like, oh, great. Great. No worries. The dream, man. There's no nothing. And we get to hang, dude. It's like, yeah, it's what you're hoping for when you start, you know? I know. Yeah, so I appreciate it, bro. How uh, how uh, hungover are you right now? By the way, I'm actually f- f- pretty fine. Okay, yeah, because some backstory that was a factor. That was a factor Huge in when factor. we were gonna do this. It's yeah, because you were. So let's give some backstory because not a lot of people know who you are. No one knows. No, who no, you no, are whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, definitely whoa, no whoa, one whoa, knows. Dude. No, no, I'm just I have saying. A huge following. A lot of my that my accounts got hacked. Oh, is that yeah. The so my numbers are small, but okay. they were really big. How big I'm were they? Twenty five. Twenty five. Mill? B- no. Yeah, dude, Mil? Across, across all. Oh my god. Across all the platforms. They all got hacked, bro. All of them. You too. Yeah, everything. Wow. They all got hacked. Yeah. Oh, so no. yeah, I mean we're rebuilding. Well, you were big on Twitch too. You're a big Twitch, Twitch guy. guy. Big I had like, Twitch guy. I had like twenty four and a half million there. <laughs> wow. That's then, a lot. That's yeah, a lot, dude. I know. Yeah, and then that got hacked. So yeah. oh. I know. I know. Oh, I know. So it's over. You and Mr. Beast are like yeah. right there. And literally they took all the footage, everything that ever I did on it. Really? It's all gone. There's no record of it. Yeah. Wow. So, so you couldn't new. even check if that's true. <laughs> so you wouldn't, I'm just saying you wouldn't I'm just not saying that So if someone would, were to fact check I'm it, just if saying if they were to look. To, 
there wouldn't be any evidence to it because wow. they erased it from the So internet. we have to take your word for it. I and it's not. I don't prefer it that way. <laughs> yeah, I would, would love to show off the amazing content. I would you have built loved up. for people to know, you know, what, what I what I did. You did a lot of um, good stuff. Yeah, but so no, so I'm known. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> but but also is you live in uh, you don't live in L. A. anymore, which is so dumb. I know it's really dumb. Because um, yeah. you're you're a Seattle guy. Yeah. Again, because I want to give some backstory. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah sure. We're we're rolling sure. in here just sure. with people not knowing. You know, sure. he's like, oh, here's, which, a, here's a guy who kind of looks like Will. Sure. Which one? You know? Which one's mine? You don't is have no. Mine? You're not. No. There's no. No, that's mine, dude. Is Get me? no. That's literally. This you know right? that's mine. So that's, that's pointing towards you me. Got that one, right? That's how is that mine? I'm just. How could that one be mine? I don't know. Was it like a gecko? And it fucking sees like this. I've been in the studio before. I'm just saying this one's facing right at me. <laughs> it's literally you had to lean into the okay, shot. Okay, okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. But you, you were big on cool. Twitch. Don't you know this shit? Yeah, that's yeah. Exactly. You, you said it. I was big on Twitch. <laughs> Huge. But you're yeah, big, no. you're big in Seattle though. I know that. You're you're a Seattle guy. I'm a big fish. You're a big fish in Huge. Huge. in a medium pond of Seattle. <laughs> When no, uh, really. you moved back, so you you started in Seattle, moved to LA. By the way, this is not going to be like a like a. I'm not going to interview you. No, it's I okay. just want to give people because I don't want to interview Let's you. Let's get serious. I want to I want to do like just some quick backstories. Uh-huh. So you moved back to Seattle after a few years of being in LA. I think it was like during COVID. It right? was COVID, yeah. and now you split time. Yeah, and this is one of those trips where you're back. Yeah, in LA. Yeah, and you come back to LA like every few months, basically. Oh uh, yeah. And so I knew you were kind of be here, and I was like, well, you got to come do the pod, and we can hang out, do some bits, do a thing. You know what I mean? But you were like, well, one of those nights, I'm gonna be like boozing pretty hard. Yeah. And so if we're gonna do it, like I want to do it on a not a day that's yeah I'm hungover, not the hangover day, not the hangover day, because you yeah. want to show up fresh, yeah. which I appreciate. You know? Yeah. Of course. But, but this is technically the hangover day for you. Yeah, big time. So talk to me. How did how did last night? I'm what fine. Was, it was what great. was last night, by the way? <laughs> Two year anniversary of the venue. Great. <clears throat> yeah. Third Wheel Comedy. Yeah. Shout out Third Wheel Comedy. If you live in LA, go see shows there. Yep. Shows, mics. Uh, if you're a comic, hit it up. Lots of stage time. Uh, good scene, good people. Yep. Uh, you built that bitch from the ground up, too. Built that bitch from the ground up. Yeah. And yeah, it's a podcast like, studio as well. Podcast studio. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, two year anniversary of that, which is honestly, that one's pretty crazy because that, that spot is absolute chaos. And we never yeah. had, we didn't have any real plan for it. So, um, yeah, it's just a little celebration. Yeah. All the homies, you know, the like me, Mike, Dex, Avery, the squad. Uh, Betsy came down. Your she wife? just flew out today. My my wife. Yep. Um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, the bits. Uh, it's now I'm not. No, I wasn't sure. Yeah, Your yeah, wife? Yeah, oh, my wife. Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah that, that makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So then, yeah, we boozed it up, and I was actually, yeah. you know, it was a party. Like it's literally, you know, it's one of the big reasons flying down. So it's a party. I know I'm gonna go hard. You know, I go hard. Yeah, you're good. You're a big. See, this is what problem is. We're both the same way. Is yeah. We get caught up in the moment. Ah, that's I love it. Dangerous. Like, I love I'm a it. Big. Get, it's that's... part of my favorite. It's like my favorite thing to do is to get <sighs> caught up in it. But that's the most <clears throat> dangerously like drunk and hungover I've gotten is from being too much in the moment. Like I had a buddy. Yeah. I had yeah. a buddy who I hadn't seen in who, who surprised me, and I hadn't seen him in like legit like ten years or something. Mm-hmm. And I it was a big caught up in the moment we mm-hmm. split a bottle of whiskey Ooh. split it dude the Ooh. whole thing and it was i was i was ill the next day like ill i wasn't like hungover i was ill yeah like it was yeah, a, yeah. they had to like so i didn't do that yeah and so that's so but then but here's what's dangerous is though is that we we are both if we're both getting caught up in the moment together yes there's no one to be like whoa 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 it's just a but thursday in cleveland but you the- don't need to drink this much <laughs> like you don't need this much alcohol but we're both like yeah let's let's go and yeah you know what? look where we are man. Fuck tomorrow fuck? dude yes tomorrow exactly. doesn't matter at all which which is gonna be a problem but also the most fun because we both get to be like yeah look at us we did it i think uh yeah i i I like to i honestly love to do that i just i i'm like i'm a fan of it you can't do it that often i try to save it yeah but i make a decision in my head when i'm gonna like when it's when i feel like all right it's gonna happen Mm mm-hmm I don't know. I, I mentally prep for the whole thing. Yeah, you were in the whole thing, meaning even the next day. You're the next day for. I prep. Yeah, you're doing a hangover prep like month a month, well, a month in advance. Yeah, you're yeah, like that's the difference. Planning your hangover. That's what I'm saying. Which is yeah. Which is a, that's such a like an adult thing to that's, do. That's that's 37. That's yeah. that's being old and being like I know I'm gonna suck ass. Yeah, and then like I do. Yeah, the biggest difference like I just don't do that that often. Yeah, like I try to not do it that often. And then yeah, so um, but no, I was fine. I was I, I was a little hungover this morning. Yeah, um, but you nailed it. You were like, "Oh, by the end of the day, you'll be okay." And that's I am. usually I what great. it is. Yep, yeah. that's usually what it is. We're doing this later in the day because I wanted to look out for you. Because those are the best. One sec. 
Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't throw it here. Don't the camera, camera, camera. Oh! Camera, camera. <laughs> <laughs> Just one second. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, dude. I'm really good. I'm, I'm sharp. Good. I'm good. Duh. <laughs> I'm good. By the way, the, the picture behind me, this is the um, – Oh, like, is that, is that like up. with you now? Yeah. Um, so this is when if someone saw my Instagram, I mean, <laughs> oh god, worst, worst getting, fucking uh, worse handyman worse. ever. <laughs> is that good? Is that good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that they was that was on the green room in the Cleveland uh, Hilarities Comedy Club, and yeah, uh, and you told me to take it. You were with yeah, me. Yeah, you, you were, were like, leave and be like not sentimental about it. And this, sorry for our <laughs> listeners. Just, I mean, it's the picture on my Instagram of uh, of the green room door that I posted a while ago. The kid is me, so they found a baby picture of me to put in the thing, great and pick. I just thought it was such a great baby, so pick. thoughtful, so great. And so no one was like, "Dude, take it. You're gonna want it." And I was You're like, gonna okay. want it. And now it's in the studio. Yeah. So yeah, great yeah, call. Because yeah. um, hilarity was a dope call. I feel like that was like a yeah. kind of a special check you know what i mean check off that was a big check a off bit. for me that was a big one and that was the whole i talked about on the podcast the whole uh the laughing guy with the ha! yes that whole thing i saw that clip oh so much of the video that i was gonna clip up from that set is ruined by that fucking guy really yeah so for context i'm crushing right <laughs> and so right <laughs> no because okay because right and uh you know but then he's laughing right and quick, he's all you can hear. quick if someone people miss that we we did a show where this dude was like obnoxiously laughing and basically ruining the show he was like ha, ha, ha. he was going he was yeah he was going ha ha like it was like a yeah. honkish like but it was delayed ha! it was delayed yeah it was yeah, people yeah. Would laugh and then you'd hear him he wanted and people do this don't do this if you ever go to a comedy show he wanted it to be about him his oh. laugh he saved his laugh he timed his laugh so that everybody would hear his laugh and he was so oblivious like what oh i didn't oh it's like how do you not you're in a you are an adult <laughs> per like how do you not understand that but we talked about this that he i think he does and he loves it and he knows like he he knows he's going to get a trickle down laugh he knows they're going to talk about it he's going to get the, all the attention yeah and it makes me hate him so much more which well the fact that he was kind of an asshole made it yeah. so much better to hate him it's because which which i think is because he got called out yeah. like he was hoping this was going to be about him it's going to be very funny mm -hmm. his cool laugh god and then he just got told not to do it and he was like oh come on i love when people <laughs> give you a reason to hate them ah oh, it's the best cuz i don't I don't hate anyone. Yeah. I don't ever want to hate people. But when I'm they give you, you the re oh, it's, it's a relief. It's a sweet I relief. I get to not like you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for giving me the opportunity to hate you. That's uh, so nice of you. Isn't you know? it then you get that, which is amazing. And then the worst is when then they do something to redeem themselves and they, ta they take that oh, away from you. That's worse. Now you can't hate them. Oh. You, you thought you could hate them. Because if that and guy was like, not oh, he's a human being. We're all... Yeah, make mistakes. Because if he was nice, then we'd all. If he's like bashful, like, oh well, I didn't know my laugh. Sometimes I we were like, yeah. oh, I'm so sorry, yeah, we're man. Like, sorry, like, man. You know, yeah. cool Dude, shirt, cool shirt. Honestly, cool shirt. It was a cool shirt. It was like a really. It was a cool shirt. Still my camera. That's still oh, that's my still camera. You. It's okay. still my I camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I just yeah, wanted yeah. to. No, you, it's weird that you forgot. I want to connect with your audience. Thank you, dude. There's yeah. a lot of them. Yeah, there's this podcast gets so many views, dude. It's crazy. and like I said, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous to be here, and I don't want to blow it, and I don't want to blow up. I appreciate you it. Piss me off. Do, you know do I? Yeah. You well, make, how do I piss you off? You make me white hot mad. You just I know. Do? Yeah, and I don't want to lose my shit. Well, you're also drinking vodka out of a and water I'm bottle. You and fucking I'm lunatic. blacking out right now. <laughs> how many drinks did you, you had last night? Oh, I don't know. Realistically. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I mean a lot. Good amount. <laughs> what was? What, what do you think's a lot? What, what, what's that's the number really, you would that's call a really good a question. lot? Like a lot? I'd yeah, yeah, say yeah. you lead, and then I'll adjust my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll. Yeah, that's the same for me for sure. Four that's or five, definitely I feel you. a lot. That's a lot. No, yeah. a, I'd say a lot is seven or more. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's a good yeah. amount. Seven, for sure. Because I can do like if you think of like four or five drinks, it's not that many. Like, let me just put it in this perspective. Like, we when we were in Cleveland together. We did. I remember we had like two Bud Lights in the thing in the in the place and like a double tequila. Mm -hmm. And then like bounced, mm -hmm. and we and that's like that's four drinks, yeah. And yeah, we yeah. were like fine. I remember right. when we got we back, were you were like, I could go out or stay in. That's I'm, right. I'm good either way. I was almost like I could go to bed now. And, and but that like, was four, and right. four's not like we're both not huge guys. Yeah, so you yeah, think yeah, four true. is not a lot. Also depends on how quick it's happening. So if you're doing shots, that's true. Because the first beer, like I, I think I had yeah beer, like maybe you write four, but one was like before the set. That's a good point. So yeah. So like you know, I just think that it's not. I think four or five, and that sounds like a lot of drinks. If you're doing like four shots in a row, yeah, then it's like. So I had like twenty last night. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> That's a lot. Jesus, that's Christ. hard to try. To, try to, so it was seven. Okay, I could. Yeah. What's your What's your hangovers look like? Oof. I mean, yeah, 
pukey. I'll puke. Oh, really? Okay. Dude, every once in a while, I'll just pu- I'll not drink a lot and get super hungover and throw up. Huh. And then sometimes, like I can't, I can't figure it out. People feel like there's a science to it. Yeah. Like beer before liquor, whatever. Yeah. I'm bad with this. I'm good with yeah. that. I'm convinced there. I have no idea what's gonna happen. The only thing I will say yeah. is water. Mm-hmm. Like water works. Drinking water always makes throughout it better. the night. Yeah. I know. Like that's the only thing that 100 percent of the time makes it better. Other than that, then it's like, oh man, I'm, you know, tequila every time. It's uh, for me. It's like nothing is every time. And it's and it's and in the night and then we don't drink water one hundred percent of the time. And then every yeah, it's every <laughs> no one's really <laughs> yeah. drinking water when they're no. boozing. You're not. Who has the awareness to be like? But also a water. Yes, I've never the whole time, the whole time. And then at the end of the night, God. So yeah, no, I I mean I'll puke. I had like I had like five drinks the other day golfing, mm-hmm. and then day drinking golfing. Got home, felt great. Got hungover at around seven p.m. and mm. puked at like eight o'clock. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've never had and that. And I was so hungover, dude. Like same I was day. Awake, like you were just same, conscious through I, the whole thing. I walked into hangover. Whoa. And then threw up. I've never and then went had to bed. That. Wow. So you had the whole and it was five range drinks. of and five's not that many, nope. like we've established earlier. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I drove home. <laughs> <laughs> right. Not I should, that should many. Talk about. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, well, I was I think I had texted you about this, but um, I don't know. I'm I'm slowly kind of starting to move a little away from booze. Yeah, it's not good. It's it's good to cut back. It's I mean, like I mean, we keep talking about this one trip, but it's literally the most recent trip we went on, and it was like one of the most fun. But Very you fun. know, it's like I woke up in Cleveland, like legit hungover. It was mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. we were like, I, I have to probably puke. Like, when do we leave the Airbnb? Like, mm-hmm. how do we figure? And I I rallied, and I, you know, I got I got over it. But still, it was like that's like never worth it. I think. Nah, I don't think it is. I think. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I, I think people, yeah, I think definitely not drinking is probably advice. It's probably a good, it's yeah, probably not, a really good I'm idea. not going to sit here and be like, nah, bro, you got to, you got to, you got to keep it going. But that's why I'm, I'm slowly, because I had a thing where I had a buddy, college buddy in town, and we did uh, a little bit of mushrooms yeah. instead of like, because like, okay, we want to do like a fun thing. And we just decided to like, kind of like a heavy micro dose of mushrooms. And dude, we like for real had like the most fun ever we were laughing yeah. so much we weren't like fucked up right and when it was over we were like okay we're dead sober we're like i guess what do we do now we're chilling there's no like mm-hmm. you don't feel shitty you're not like oh i mean i will say though shit my goddamn brains out <laughs> yeah. at, in a public toilet that was a disaster <laughs> and if you know me and anyone knows me me you in public bathrooms yeah, are yeah, great yeah. i don't i'm not with the germaphobe stuff I'm yeah not, it was a, a true germaphobe yep I, I can i can say that and it was a rough it was a it was one of those things where i went to the bathroom because if you take mushrooms it's just you have to shit it's just it's a, a part thing. Of it. It's a thing, and at least hmm. for me, it is, and that's okay. It's like it's like the mushrooms themselves. They, they just, just activate they something in your up. stomach, and yeah. that's about when you start to like kind of trip is when you is when you just blast it out of your ass. <laughs> um, Dude, and I, so I so I went to the so I I was it was one of those things where I was like, whenever I have to shit in public, I'm always like, fuck. So I was such like I'm like I I hate that this is what I have to do right now, but yeah. I had to. There was no because yeah. you try to. No, I, just I feel I feel bad for people like like that seems like it sucks. I can shit anywhere. Yeah, I can. and anytime people can't do that, I'm like that sucks because when you have to shit, it's a you know it's and a big it, deal. And sometimes it, it's it, I'll like oh I can hold it. I'll be home in 20 minutes. This is fine. But that was like a, oh it's 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 happening. I have I have to. Yeah, and it was one of those bathrooms where there was one stall and there was just pissed just all over the oh. toilet seat. So now I'm like and it was one of those things where the where the the drug was starting to kick in and I was like. I was trying to like, how do I, okay, do I put the, do I wipe the piss? Do I put the, the seat cover on the piss? Do I double cover it? Do I lift up? Do I hover? I was like, fuck it. And I just like, I just hovered and just blasted. You hovered? And I hovered. Okay. First hover shit I've ever taken in my life. Oh, really? And okay. just blasted. Was it all uh, leg strength or did you yes. brace? No, I didn't brace. It was a, it was one of those gigantic stalls. There was one okay, stall, so and it was like couldn't. a fucking studio apartment. Yeah, yeah, so there's no leverage. Okay. So I had to just. It's I all just leg power. was all. I've been doing legs a lot. That yeah, was one of them. For that it was moment. an unintentional leg day while I was shitting. It was train. so. Thankfully, there was no one in the in the bathroom too, because that yeah. would have been really embarrassing to yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Not that the door was open, but still, <laughs> just, just that would have been really embarrassing when they went that they watch you shit. Yeah, that would have been really like really. I'm tripping. Like get out! <laughs> yeah. Don't look at me. But that's really the only downside that i've realized to that because we had and the whole point of what i'm saying is that i think right. we need to do this on one of these trips instead of drinking because it's dude we I had know. so much fun and there was no like downside i know other than the hover shit so i'm i'm scared of psychedelics yeah i just and i can't get it like you know uh 
Never been a big drug guy. Me dude, either, by the way. I'm not. No, I'm not saying this dude, like you I'm don't even try Captain to, fucking dropping Molly on dude, a Tuesday you're type that, of dude. You're my hookup, dude. You're my connect. Please. Please. Um, yeah, I don't know. Psychedelic stuff always trips me out. I, I'm I'm like worried about it. The brain stuff mm-hmm. messes. It, I don't like it. Like yeah. I'm not good with weed. You aren't good with weed. That's true. terrible. With yeah, weed. yeah, yeah. Terrible. I I do the I do all the paranoia stuff. Yep. And then Betsy, I did mushrooms once, but I didn't take a lot. See, this is where I could do micro. I think I could do micro dosing. I think you could too. Yeah, I think I could, and we should. I'm I'm super down. Great. And that's all. Well, that's see again the moment getting caught up. It's gonna be dude. Getting you to do drugs is gonna be so easy. <laughs> <laughs> You're so like I know. Yeah. If you have a good set. Yeah. You yeah, know what? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. 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 Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking Columbus. Let's go. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Dude. Um, and you just stay and start a family. Um, you too much. Know. We did too much. <laughs> But I was the same way, though, about them. I was always yeah. like – I never did them until I was like 28 mm-hmm. probably because I was worried about my brain, especially yeah. as comedians. Yeah. I want to be as sharp and as 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 you know locked in as I possibly can be without changing. I had this fear with psychedelics that I was worried if I took them, something would change in me in a way of like, what if I don't want to do comedy anymore? Yeah. What if I like just think, oh, what am I – what have I been doing this whole time? Where right. I? And it's just not – that's no, just not what happens. I have a – I mean, my dad's manic depressed, manic depressive, like bipolar. Sick. And so I'm, I know, right? Sorry. It's super wrong. Man, wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. That's, God, that's a guy, my impression You're, of a guy who, who came out of quarantine forgetting how to be a person. That's yeah, my yeah, yeah. Right. That's awesome, man. Sick. How long do you have that for? That's, that's really cool. Really cool. Where Do you know how I could get in that? Talk about a hookup. Is he like showed you how to do it? Like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's sick. Anyway, sorry. So your dad's. So I'm yeah, worried. So you're just going to do like, here's the bummer part. So yeah, go ahead. So it's going to get really sad. Can we play a little music? Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, no, he. That's like a psychedelic thing. Is is that it can knock you into that? Like if you have a history of oh. mental illness, acid can do that. Shit. But I'm not really worried. I I am a, deep down a little worried. It, it's but not that much. I think you'd have to go pretty. I deep. think you'd have to go exactly. You gotta go deep. And yeah, I've go I've been deep-ish, and it's still not. It was. Eh, there was one time where it was. I wasn't great. It wasn't. Yeah. I came out of it like not great. Yeah. For like well, especially days. the biggest thing now to, though too though though. And the biggest thing is though too though. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah. yeah. Is uh, like doing uh, like multiple. So you got Tuesday, Wednesday or whatever, multiple days of comedy. Mm. Then I definitely don't want to drink. That's the biggest thing. Right. I'll save the thing with drinking. I save it for big fun. Yeah. Nights. Yeah. I get and that. And then I will. And then I will. I don't mind the second day. The day. Like I don't mind like the hangover and all Cause that. Because then it's done. It's, uh, it's so you fun. did it. It's fun. So I think we'll, yeah. we'll we'll do a little experimenting with the mic because if you've already done a micro thing, it's not it really isn't that crazy. Yeah, it's just, yeah we'll it's see. Because we're already like doing so many bits. Cut to me full <laughs> Martin Lawrence naked. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We have to like report back and make sure everything went okay. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think it would be. I wouldn't tell you to. Hey guys, uh, you know. so good to be here. Um, sad day. Haven't seen <laughs> Nolan in a in a while. It's episode three. Yep. Um, oh, it's been... Heaven. Just haven't heard from him. Yep. Haven't He's heard from just him. Just somewhere. And we don't know where that somewhere is. <laughs> Speaking of somewhere, I forgot. I was I forgot. I was gonna open with this and I just forgot the to Orlando talk about thing? Orlando. Okay, yeah. What and I forgot to because that should have been the first part. Because every episode I do like a what's called road recap, uh-huh. where I talk about where I just Will's was. Will's road recap. Super Will's, easy to say. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a lot of W's and R's. I feel like that's a really good for a title. Will's Welcome road Welcome everybody to Will's Road <laughs> Rad Road Recap. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be a really real, real long time. <laughs> for this one, for this one, for this one, for, the, for this one, I was, I was just like, you know, I got nothing, you know, nothing to really recap because it got fucking canceled. Yeah, and this is the first time. Which is funny because remember you were like, that, that was the one that you were like, you should come. That's funny how that worked oh, out. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's back up. We're getting to yeah, our yeah, other yeah. stuff. So basically, I had, I was. This is the only. Let me back up even further. I've done now touring so on my own. We're going to back 1987, even further. Let's go your mom. Come back and we bow. Can we bow? And Come your back father. and we bow? Will's World Week out. Um, so, please, please call it that. Please make an intro where it's like, Will World Week out. Oh my God. Week three. God. Week three. <laughs> so nothing. So I, I'm not going to jinx this because the jinx already happened is – I had traveled for eight months straight and nothing bad happened. Yeah. There was no massive delays or cancellations. It was pretty smooth yeah. for the most part. Except for that guy you murdered. <laughs> yeah. Other than yeah, that. Yeah. Like, other than that, with, that casualty you with your in, car. In, in Delta. That other was a whole that thing. Guy, yeah, yeah. Um, and it was – and finally I had one that got absolutely fucked. Um, it was bad. So, so – I was supposed to do the Orlando Improv on a Wednesday. Yeah. And that was the only trip where I only have that one club and I go back. 
Usually if it's a one-nighter, it'll be like, we'll do Orlando and then do Jacksonville so or you something. Just and then we're going to Orlando. Flew to Orlando, do a show, fly back. Wow, okay. Which I don't, that was that was the last one we got on the books because it was so important. It was like, I was waiting on Orlando and my agent Whoa. was like trying, we were just like, I before I announce all the dates, Weird. like Orlando's the last one we need to make this this run complete because so I knew all, I there's already Orlando. Like elements around and it. I didn't think about that until now yeah, you're right yeah, there was yeah. already this weird stigma with Orlando it yeah. was like as hard to get as long as we can get Orlando we're and we finally got it it was it was just scheduling and we got it and so and that's why I didn't care about going there and back because it was like I knew I needed this this city to complete the whole thing mm-hmm. so anyways so I was going to I always go day before for pretty pretty much any shows that aren't like west coast mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. um other than like Salt Lake, like Salt Lake, I'm going day of. Uh, Denver, settle in, show like that. Yeah, settle in. Phoenix, or sorry, uh, Seattle would be day of type of shit. Mm-hmm. And um, and so day before, so my flight was at like twelve or whatever. And uh, Anthony, who opens for me, Anthony Sturdy, he the went. The myth, baby. His flight was his flight was at ten thirty a.m. Okay. Right, he took an earlier flight that I think so was he cheaper. did come. So let me. So his <laughs> flight was at ten thirty, and mine was at twelve. Okay. Okay. And so because his, I think he had a cheaper flight. Okay. Right. And so I'm like. And so I find out about there's a storm on like Sunday. My buddy in Florida, who t- he was like, hey, are you still coming with the storm? And I was like, what? Mm-hmm. What storm? Mm-hmm. Had no idea that it was a fucking mm-hmm. hurricane hurling to mm-hmm. where I'm going. Mm-hmm. And so it's like Monday. I, I email my agent. I'm like, hey, just flagging that there's like a big storm coming, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, okay, thanks mm-hmm. for the heads up. I'm sure we'll talk to the club soon. And so I heard nothing. And it now Wednesday comes. And I was like, you know, I'm tracking the storm. I make an announcement on Instagram basically being like – Show still on. Bring your rain boots. You know, <laughs> so, oh, man. like like in the Love shuttle yeah, to the yeah, airport, yeah, yeah, doing yeah, these yeah. posts. Like you thought we were not rain yeah. can't stop us. You kidding me? For this real. This is Will Wild Week. Will yeah, yeah, weekend. Yeah, yeah. A yeah. wet Will weekend. <laughs> <in> a window. <laughs> so, so and I'm I'm no I'm I'm a I'm about I'm at my gate. I walk to the gate and I get an email from my agent that says, "Looks like Orlando wants to reschedule the show because of the storm." Um, how do these potential dates look? And I'm like, and you're already, you're already there. I'm about to board the flight, oh, man. bro. I'm legit like, like 10 minutes from, it was a thing of doors were closing in about 10, 15 minutes. Wow. Like, so you have a moment. I had a moment. I called her immediately and was like, Hey, what? Huh? Mm-hmm. And she was like, yeah. Uh, let me call the club. She calls me back. I'm like eight minutes before the doors are closing. It's like, I'm either getting on this six hour flight or I'm not. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, Anthony's in the Definitely skies, <laughs> no idea. Yeah, no, that's why I love picturing him because he's so chill. He's, I just love him being like, he's, he's on the it's flight. It's all good, like, bro. Man, yeah, it's gonna yeah. be a fun, it's gonna be a fun, fun show, yeah. man. Hell yeah, it's, it's gonna be a fun it's time. Be yeah, fun. Sick. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's Text, great. Sick, it. man. Florida, it's awesome. Yeah, dude. Get so a burrito in Atlanta, probably. <laughs> and so <laughs> and so finally, she's like, "Yeah, we're we're like calling it. We're gonna reschedule it." And I was like, "Okay, um, I guess I'm not." So then I go up and I'm like, "Hey, JetBlue, can I, you know?" And they luckily they were they were like, "Oh yeah." There's like 40 people on this flight, first of all, because hella people were like, I'm not going to fucking Florida. Right. And me, I'm right. like, see you there. Yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> bring your bring bring, jackets. Rain and wind can't rain, stop. Yeah, up. right. And they're like, no, no, you're, no, you. Comedian Will Burkhart <laughs> drowns in fucking <laughs> yeah. Orlando. Yeah, 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 Goddamn yeah. storm. Yeah. So all in all, they. His they, last post. <laughs> Last post. You think the Kiss. storm could stop me, bitch? <laughs> Fuck me, no matter what. That's what's up. So Dude, I love bring your rain, dude. Your so rain so and now I'm like, so I got the flight back. I got it all refunded. But now I'm so then I just go home. I just go home, which is the weirdest to like, dr- like drive to LAX, shuttle, park, do, and then just go right back. And it was such a weird. Damn. To, it's also weird to pack for a trip and then just unpack for the yeah. trip. That's a weird. Yeah. So, but then the craziest part is the is still the fact that Anthony like went to Orlando and so I had to just wait for him to land that's, bro that's such a long flight that's weird. that's like the longest continental uh, so funny, flight bro. continental is that the right th- continental Transcontinental? Yeah, yeah I think so that was the longest way he could possibly go so sure enough he landed and here's the so immediately felt so bad I'm like yeah, Jesus, yeah, yeah. Sorry, pff, like you know out of my control and and the, the craziest part is that they um they fucking put him on a flight right back to LA so he has to just turn around. He literally, like, they, I think, I'm pretty sure that, that they told him that the plane was just going, this same plane was going back to LA. And they were like, if you want, just hop right back on. And he's no like, shit. Hell yeah. And of course, let's Anthony's go. like, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess let's go good. back to LA. Yeah, I could probably the take motherfucker that. took another, 
So he was, he went his it's like 12 hours, like the whole day <laughs> was spent going to Florida, going back to LA. It was, I think he was back home at like 10 PM. Whoa. So from like 8 AM. What a weird ass day. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. So he really got screwed. He, I mean, it was the worst. I paid, yeah. I ended up paying for his flights just cause it was like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. just, it was like the right thing to do. I felt really bad. So yeah. that was really the only L I took is with and paying if for his flights. Be, he's a piece of shit. I know. Shit. I thought about it. Yeah. I was like, do I pay for his, cause I don't. Yeah, I was like, what do I do? And so I ended up doing it. But yeah, I was, yeah, yeah. you know, not happy about it, Yeah, yeah. to be that honest. Does suck. But I also would have been a lot less happy if I went to Orlando. Yes. Because here's what I was thinking about, too, is I think they, I feel like my agent, I feel like my, yes. Yeah. I feel like my agent also, like, she happened to email me at that time. She easily could have been like, oh, this email can wait 10 minutes. Right. And then I'm on the flight. I think the worst would have been. That's like for sure. On yeah. the runway. Yes. What if it's like we're lifting off? Show's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> what? And I'm no. just and now I'm just in the air for six hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like by the, by can the way, I parachute her, out of this fucking Gale, flight? Gail Gail Force wins when you let Clay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Show's canceled. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. that would so I'm, that would have been that could have happened. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you absolutely got a little lucky. could have happened. So I think I all and so then it got rescheduled October 29th. Uh, for a for a don't stop getting in my camera. Stop it, dude. God damn it. October twenty. It's so be a great show. What's cool is it's gonna be a, a Sunday. Why is a that better. cool? Uh, <laughs> hilarious. Just don't yeah, dude. I, uh, but also, why is that cool? <laughs> I was about to be like, yeah, yeah dude. Sunday, Sunday, love it. Why yeah, yeah, yeah. is that cool? <laughs> different day. It is a different day. That's really smart, dude. It I think is that's a different day. So... You're not that hungover. <laughs> So it was originally it was originally a Wednesday, and so now it's a Sunday. And okay. so I like to think that I could sell a few more tickets. It's on a better Sunday. comedy day. Yep. Yeah. Just better. There's yeah. no like on a Wednesday. You kind of have to be like, we'll see how work is that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Sunday, you're like, I know I'm not working. I have work the next day, mm -hmm. but I know that day I'm mm -hmm. not working. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty excited. So yeah. all in all, I think it ended up, and people also stopped buying tickets at one point for the my my canceled show. Okay. The tickets were like, at, bro, there was like 90 tickets sold because they it like the last minute bump. No one's bought tickets. Right. So it was it, the show would have probably kind of sucked. So yeah. I think I actually came out. So like, on top. was there a hurricane? Did that Dude, happen? Dude, like, like kinda. That's a that's a happen, the L.A. thing too. Is oh, yeah. basically both of those. Like, yeah, it's the same thing. Like, it's like, it like it's like, coming and yep, then and it rain. like, rained. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think other parts got hit hit more. Yeah, I thought Florida. I thought I saw in the news that like it definitely some, places for sure got hit. But, but I think Orlando. I don't think Orlando got hit yeah. very hard, and I also sense. knew that going into it. I was I was a storm chaser for a little while there, meaning like I was tracking the storm like a motherfucker because of the show. Uh -huh. I was like super tapped into like I just weather that radar. You didn't tell me that when you were younger, you were a storm chaser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. For like four or five years, yeah, eighteen to twenty three. Before I was, comedy, yeah, I was a storm chaser. What a what a job that is, by the way. What a career choice, storm chasing. You just love Twister when growing up, yeah. the movie, and you're like, that's it. That's what I want to do. What I want to do. I want to chase natos. Oh, is what they call them. Natos. Yeah, spoken like a true storm chaser. <laughs> yeah, dude, I get it. I know the scene. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I was, and I think, and people, and people also were like mad in some of the comments because they were like, dude, it's not even fucking. Yeah, it, there's no, it's barely even raining. Like, yeah. Are you serious? And I was like, ah, I don't know. Whatever, you know. What yeah. Can I, what can I Out do? Out of my hands. Out of my hands. So weird. That's what happened with Orlando. So rescheduled. Um, you're not gonna be there. Uh, I had I invited Anthony again because it's like this whole saga of Orlando. Well, it was funny. Is like you know, will I make it in October? Too? Who knows? It's like this <laughs> yeah. big thing. I yeah. almost want to advertise it is as it, this it's, big it's like thing. September. It'll be October. Oh, okay, end cool. of October. Is it an improv? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. But I, I was, now I almost want to make it this like big event. Like, yeah. They, you know, they they took away they the thought, show. They, they thought I couldn't make it. Like, you know, make it this big like they big said, event. Yeah. They said they said he couldn't come back. They said he wouldn't make it. They said that he was, he was too, you know, he's too weak, scared. Right. That's what they're saying. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. yeah. But that's not true. It's not a good. It's, it's not. <laughs> it's, your, it's a weird voiceover audition. <laughs> it's not very galactic at all. That was but the. That's only, not true. It's not true. It's I actually not. No, he's gone. He'll he'll be there. He'll be there. It's fine. It's not that big. It didn't rain how much, so he'll he'll yeah. for sure be there. So join him. Just yeah. come. It'll be good. <laughs> Hopefully. All right. That's it. I don't know. A lot of crowd work. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay. I gotta. I gotta pee. I'll be, <laughs> don't record that part. <laughs> you got. You got it. Um, I I remembered uh, something random. I forgot. I forgot to tell you about. Um, do you? And that was a bit. That was a funny bit we just did. It was that a, was. And so, 
Yeah, we're big bit guys. Yeah, it's a big bit. We're gonna clip that up. <laughs> we're gonna. <laughs> what were you saying? I'm a big Sorry. team. I'm a big editing team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all there's these bays. We know there's bays. The who? There's a whole. There's bays. Bays. Oh, editing like bays. editing bays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of dedicated. Big, a lot of big bay guy over here. A lot of bays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're from the bay. Do you um, uh, do you like Impractical Jokers? The show. Do I? <laughs> that was great. That was, we'll take that again. Hey, yeah, yeah. I like that a lot. So Let's do again. a little more natural. Oh, more, more natural? Because we so now that, we got the big take. So that wasn't... That was like... So your take that was on more that like, like a, for me... That was like a Nickelodeon toy commercial. Okay. Let's more go to like natural... Play it normal. Play it normal. And then we may do one more for safety. And then we... Okay. So... So do you like Impractical Jokers? Love them. Love them. No. No, no, no. Cut. Love them. No, no, no. Do, don't be weird with it. Be like, be like normal guy... Like a normal guy on a Sunday type of vibe. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, got it. hey, got it. hey, no, hey, hey, pal. What up, bro? Hey, dude. How hey, you doing, man? Pal. What's um, up? Do you like Impractical Jokers? Ooh. Oh, man. You're taking real risks. I didn't with know. This. Well, because I was. You didn't know. It's a third take. <laughs> You're saying it was a guy on a Sunday. Yeah. It's just some guy. He didn't know. These are my decisions. <laughs> I know these are your decisions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're taking, we're not right. Daniel Day Lewis. One more You're taking take. so many risks. One more take. I got it. Okay. Hey, hey. Dude, oh, you know okay, I'm you start. You start. Yeah, yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah, it makes more sense. It makes more sense because that's what we were already doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. No shit. Hey. Yo. What up? Good, man. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> shit. Okay, ready? Yeah. All right. Hey, man. What's what up? up, dude? Good. Chilling. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. No. We're good. No. Okay. Hey, do you watch Impractical Jokers? Uh, yeah. Okay. That was good. That was really good. Thank you. We'll, All we'll, right. We'll keep that one. We'll keep that one. So now in real, now out of Bitland, do you like that show for real? Uh no. Okay, never Actually, really watched. I've okay. never really watched it. Yeah. It's a bummer. Yeah. Because I uh, I think I became friends with one of the guys. Uh and okay. the reason I'm telling you this is because we probably will hang out with him in uh St. Louis. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm and sure. so so when I he was asks trying you, to be like So when when he asks you, hey, you like you have to be like By then? By then I'll know a lot big about fan. impractical jokers. Big fan. Actually I do like impractical jokers. Now that oh, I think about cool, it. Oh cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Betsy likes them. And so, you know, we watch them every once okay, in a while. Okay, so you like it a little bit. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happened is I, I never really... I like that they're just regular guys. They're just regular guys, you know? dude. Funny guys. Yeah. Yeah. So what happened is, is I had a buddy who... I did. A, I posted a joke about an Impractical Jokers reference. Okay. And do you know J.F. Harris, the comedian? mm Okay. He... Um, do I? <laughs> Damn it. Damn <laughs> it. That would have way better. Yeah, that would yeah, be really yeah. funny. It's funnier. Um, okay, well... But, yeah, um, no, I'm just saying. after I said what I said. You had time. Okay. You're yeah, right. Comes you're time. Right. I'm you're yeah, dude. Um, uh, so he, impractical. He to is, wear a He opened for the Impractical Jokers for a long time, and he's like for real buddies with them. And, okay. uh, and he sent the clip to two of them. Oh, cool. And I was like, well, that's really cool. Yeah. And then one of them like like followed me and like reached out. Mur, he's like the bald guy. If you okay. ever watched it, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Uh, he like reached this out. Is, this is actually stupid, but Impractical Jokers where they do they do pranks, and then they got the guy like yeah. at, in the room yeah. so, telling him what to say. Yep. Yeah, I've seen a lot of it. real, it's great. real, it's great real funny show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just classic funny, good stuff. funny stuff. And great, so, high end, good stuff. And so they have Murr, one of the guys like hit me up and was like, "Dude, so funny, blah blah." blah. And and, uh, and we were trying to like figure out if our tours like overlap, and we're gonna be in St. Louis at the same time. Cool, so, man. I'm gonna know so. So much. by then, dude, because you'll I'm be with a, me for that. So yeah. So by then, I'm gonna know so. You gotta be like, much. you're gonna yeah. go up to Murr and be like, "Sal, what up, man? <laughs> baby, baby, what up, dude? Joking, huh? Dude, I don't know, man. I think for me, I was always more of a practical joke guy but you guys oh, took let's it get all this out of the way now i know we should do you want me to run now. it yeah yeah yeah. but I'm, that'd I, be fun well this is a really anticlimactic thing i don't want i was, to I was take... hoping that you'd be like dude i love that show no way that's really cool right so i'm sure there'll be listeners that'll be like that's really cool that but, is really cool but for I, you it's a bit anticlimactic i'm aware of how successful they are how big they are and how mm. funny they are so in that way it's very it's very cool have you had any... it's cool to hear about your friends yeah you know dude well, you'll be involved. I was excited to tell you because yeah, you, yeah. you would be involved. I didn't, I didn't tell you about that. So no, hopefully, cool. that, hopefully that works out. That'd also, be great. it could also may not work out. Who the fuck knows? Can't wait. I said I was friends with the guy. We're not friends. Yeah. We follow each other. <laughs> we messaged a bunch of times and that's about it. So what hopefully is what are friends night. really? It's a lot of pressure on this guy that he doesn't know. I know. It's coming. He has plans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. He actually is going to be a big thing. <laughs> it's well, going to be fun because then we'll see in December if it actually fucking pans out yeah, or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we can talk about it. Have you had any... Um, any like random celebrity shit like people like liking your stuff online before have you ever had like the whoa it's a great this person question. yeah dane cook okay. dane cook so this yeah yeah, yeah. you could be joking right now no 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 serious. i know i know yeah that's a tough thing no i i was dane cook for halloween like like oh, three I years remember. ago uh, yes dude i remember that yeah i took we took a picture together and i have a picture of you as dane cook yes for halloween yeah you came out you came out to the spot yeah, yeah. 
and uh and so like i just i think i was we posted something devin uh you know comedian bud at the improv she posted some tagged him and he shared that so he shared like you know reposted yeah, an yeah, instagram yeah. with me in it yeah That'd that's be, great i would i would count that that's a good one right absolutely yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah. one that was unreal that was, you know, because he's like the well, legend. He, he's our, that was like our guy. He's the guy. In our generation, he was like the guy. Yeah. People forget that how much the guy he was. He was a fucking. He was the biggest comedian in the world. Yes. For like two years, maybe. No longer. Year and a half, no, maybe Oh, three. no, longer. Yeah. I'd say for like five years, he was on top of the fucking world. He was the, yeah. Like 100%. The, our guy. The guy. Know, who got a lot of people into stand up and I think made stand up cool. Yeah, that's interesting. I never really thought of that. Because I think before him, it was very buttoned up, like mm. kind of little, like kind of, oh, I'm gonna stand here and tell jokes. Even like, even like Mitch Hedberg is one of my like all time favorites. Yeah, but he's like joke, 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 jokes. joke, you know, chilling out. But like Dane yeah. was the first guy that like runs all over the states. Him and like Swartzen, where I Swartzen feel like the was, first guys. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've talked about this. Swartzen is is that was a cool one. I had like that was that was a great memory was being on a lineup with sports and at the improv but that's not really oh. getting liked in a picture that, no, that counts but that, that counts. was like unreal that, that counts. was when i first got those cold opens at the improv and my name on the list with the same with swartz because mm-hmm. the time gap would have been like i you know we were watching those comedy central presents like what i was 13 14 so like by the time i get on that lineup it's like almost 20 years later wow yeah that that's what tripped me Yep. So I was like, you know, that his special, that that half hour and mm-hmm. whatever the one he did, like that was all our favorite. That was probably my favorite comedy yeah. thing I had seen. God. And it was like obsessed with it. So that was kind of a weird. Anyways, that's that wasn't a really, really that good. wasn't really a liking. No, that's thing, a great but, one. That's a great yeah. one. Because that's. I blew it. That I think. No, you didn't blow story. it, dude. That's a that really good dumb. story. That's a really good story. You, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Come I'm back. I think because I think I'm fragile, dude. I know That's you are. You drank a lot. Why? Yeah, dude. I think those are. If you don't have those moments, yeah, in comedy, you're not gonna like enjoy this shit. If you don't oh, have yeah, that, like, like a second. Whoa! Look how cool that you're. Yeah. What yeah. are you doing then? Oh yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. Because eventually, like the whole thing's a fantasy. Mm-hmm. So eventually, you should be living little moments where you're like, the fantasy is actually happening. This yes. is crazy. I can't believe yes. This. Yeah. Yeah, you, you want my you want my most random celebrity liked thing sure. on my Instagram? You'll, sure. you'll, yeah, I didn't ask you. I no, it's fine. It's fine. You'll you know you'll you'll never guess. Like this is something you'll you don't think I could possibly never. guess. Um, I mean, I'll give you a thousand dollars if you guess who this is. No shit. I'll give you three. Do guesses. I know who that per- this person is? Yes, he's a fa- uh, he or she is a famous person. He is a very famous. Oh, I got a he. Okay. Uh, uh, figure. Okay. I'll give you three guesses. You won't a guess. Figure. Obama. Fuck. <laughs> Can you imagine how fucking crazy that would be if Obama's like, good bit. That's good, a good bit. Good bit. Good crowd. Good crowd work. Um, good. He, he's oh, great stage uh, present. Callback. Let's go, Obama. That's good. Do your, do your best, Obama. Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wait, wait a minute. I think that's. I think this, that's. I think that's it's a little George Bush. King of the Hill. Or, yeah, that's a little Hank Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a little Hank Hill. Damn it, Bobby. Damn it. Here's my. Here's my Obama. Dude, ask me my. Ob- <laughs> <laughs> ask me my, my Obama. Impression. Yeah, yeah. All right, give me yeah. your best Obama. Impression. Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> Dude, that's really good. Dude, that's really. <laughs> that's really. That's spot on, Obama, bro. Um, uh, well, Obama's big on like he does like the. Uh, yeah. Obama? That's why I started with that. That's why I tried. Uh, yeah. Oh, Obama. Oh, I'm Obama. Can you, do, can you do impressions? Do you <laughs> Apparently. Do you yeah, I mean, you're going. Oh, oh. That's still oh. super Hank Hill. Though. Oh, Obama. In my tool shed. Whacking off in my tool uh, shed. Hey, hey, you ever Do you ever watch the Beavis and Butthead movie? Hey, my, Bobby? Yeah. Underrated. Yeah. Oh, what? yeah. You're whacking off in my tool shed. Yes, that's right. Oh, my God. Dude, I haven't. That's that's uh, that's a great memory. Damn. Oh, that's a deep cut. I know. That was a big childhood movie for me. That, is and, a hu- that was a huge movie. Beavis and Butthead do time. America. Bro, that movie mattered so much. We should, we should, uh, one of these trips, we'll watch it. Let's just watch it now. No, that's such bad podcast uh, material. Oh, right, 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 because of the podcast. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, it's a really bad idea. Okay, okay, well, fine, yeah. Good, no, you take it from here, dude. I guess we're good. <laughs> no, we're not good yet. We no. still have, I don't know, I don't know how long. We've been recording for three hours. Oh, whoa. Oh, I'm so tired. Damn, dude. So it's yeah, not it's Obama. Movie. Okay, I'm going to try one more. Um... So this is who liked one of my uh, crowd work videos. Yeah. Um, um, 
Machine Gun Kelly. That's a really cool guess. That's a that's a I like the guess because that is kind it's of not, attainable. It's not that this one's to me is like what? Okay, Usain Bolt. <laughs> cool. That wasn't fake. I was, that was sincere. No, I took that. Yeah, I, but I you felt did that. a weird. Well, because you're so. <laughs> There's the thing about Nolan is that he's always doing bits, so you never know when he's serious. <laughs> but I do. I'm starting to catch when you actually because that felt genuine to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how I felt. Yeah. Can you think of a more random? Usain Bolt so cool is just scrolling so cool on on like TikTok Instagram Instagram, Instagram. wow Usain Bolt yeah and I messaged him after yeah and he got back to you didn't so get back fast to... yeah yes uh, I was, I was, uh, yeah something like that okay. <laughs> like oh yeah shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah didn't, didn't <laughs> send <laughs> reply <laughs> whoa <laughs> thanks man that's what you was a great show this guy's <laughs> breaking records <laughs> Dude, DMs too is it even possible he's so fast <laughs> it was instant he's like a long message too how the fuck <laughs> how did you really do fast? that yeah he yeah wrote him wrote him didn't uh, yeah didn't that the, the friendship stopped very quickly with yeah, that one yeah the, yeah the impractical jokers thing that could be a friendship you say bolt I don't think it's gonna be a friendship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you guys even talk about? That's what real. I mean, for real. That's what the are fun. We, like, yeah. hey, the video, pretty funny. Right. And he's like, and he's yeah, like, you, and he's like, what? Vid- I don't remember yeah, yeah. a video. Yeah, dude, you're like, was, oh, you liked it. But did I? Did I? Because somebody remember. else runs my social media. <laughs> yeah, I am never him. on it. It's not even him. <laughs> it's it's like his assistants fucking liked it. <laughs> their, their post. They just forgot to switch the account. <laughs> yeah. You know, they were just liking random shit. shit. They're like, and they, and then they realized like. I just liked like 10 so many so, so many co- comedians were like you say bolt like my video and, like, <laughs> and they didn't actually like there's like seven other comedians like who like fans. have that as their credit that's all dude that's great I do want to start using that as a credit you know this guy from you saying bolts liked videos if, yeah from his to the stage over here he's got a great Obama impression <laughs> yeah ask him to do it please <laughs> <laughs> yell at him while he's on make, stage make sure to demand it god damn man damn it Bobby damn it Bobby Whacking off and um, we'll both get at that. So that was uh that was my Usain Bolt story. Um, That's cool. Oh, I was I was um dude, you know what I was gonna I was thinking about this with because I'm struggling with this on stage right now, trying to figure out what to do. How do you feel about how comics will wear the lav mic on stage? It's it's, it's a thing. It's a thing, right? Yeah. Where people <clears throat> will basically be mic themselves up uh so they can get better audio for like the crowd interactions themselves. Mm-hmm. It's it's a move. Mm-hmm. Um I just can't get myself to do it. You don't like the look of it? You don't like that it's there? You know, I think it's more of like the feel of like another, I got to like a thing to think about. I don't feel as mm-hmm. in the moment, I feel like. Mm-hmm. I, and I think I'm wrong. Yeah, because you already mastered, you know, filming yourself. Like like the whole process I mean, of filming yourself is like. Not enough. I've gotten it enough down that it works. Well, yeah. well, and all I mean by that is like in the beginning of that's uncomfortable. Right, like yeah. like setting up the camera. That's why people don't do it, is because like it takes you. You know, you gotta think about that. You just gotta be out of the out of your set for a minute to yeah. do like what's the aperture. But you've already done that. I've done you've that. already you already got Pretty that part that. of the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not that hard. To are we talking about the, the law thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Maslati does it. Does and he? And yeah, it's super easy. Super easy. And you <sighs> basically get the mic in audio. I know. And you have great quality overall. Mm-hmm. But if that if you always had the mic in, that'd be even better. I know. I think I just can't. It's like there's something where I I feel kind of douchey saying this, but it's it's almost a little bit of me wants it. Like stand up, the art form is being so kind of taken away at this point, where it's all about like content, mm-hmm. and capturing clips mm-hmm. to the point that you're not really even worried about the set themselves. Mm-hmm. You're more like, I didn't get any content that show. That sucked. Mm-hmm. When it's like at the end of the day, this is a an experience for people in the room. In the moment, that's what this is for. The connecting with people and their energy and yeah. feeding off of that. And when I'm thinking about like, oh, I didn't get any content, that thing, ooh, the audio, I feel like I'm getting it's it's like stripping away the kind of artistic <clears throat> side of it. You know? Yeah, but you're already you're already you already do I mean, not I don't I hear you, but I don't think you're doing that by doing the lab. I don't think I am either. I and it's Because you're already like, doing it anyways. I know, but it's just like another I gotta like get my lav. I don't do too big of act outs. It'll fly off or don't do <laughs> like I'm, I feel like it'll be. I mean, it's I'll yeah do really. I mean, I've I've seen like I mean Blaustein wears a lav now and it's like no problem, right? I don't but think I, it's that big a deal. Is it, it really isn't. I just there's something about it where I want to. I want either it to way just though, be it's more, not that big a deal. To have it, which that's that why I'm talking deal. about it. Yeah, is I'm like, I don't know. Am I wrong for being like, I want to? I'm almost like being a little douchey about it. Like, oh no, I'm an artist. I want to be real. Yeah, I don't want to have to do the. I'm already filming it. I was gonna say you're already doing that. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, what do you? You guys just suck it up and just yeah. do. Yeah. You know. Because I don't think that you're. What I don't think that you're ruining it by filming it, and you're not ruining it by adding another element 
that you, you like you don't think about it it is small it is light yeah you can do move like there's no none of those problems are there and i'm not like so, jumping on the stool or anything I'm and even you could that. they pin good like yeah. like you don't have to change how you perform at all and the receiver doesn't have to be on you i don't think well from what i've seen it does but i it could be could be super super high tech version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Do you have you always have your phone up there though, right? Yes, and so that's what I think it ton. connects to your phone. Whoa. I think you record. I think I think the way Mike does it is yeah, lapel mm. and then Bluetooth, and it records onto his phone. If the, I'm not mistaken, the quality can't I can look be that good. If it's going through your phone, no, no, it is it's, really it's, that the phone's just a recording. It's just <clears throat> like an SD card. It's just storing onto that. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah. What's helped me a lot I'm pretty lately. sure. Mike, do you think that sounds right? I don't know. I mean, Sorry. I'm then. jumping out of my skin if you guys really want me to contribute the answers. <laughs> There's 20 different devices. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, you yeah, could yeah. have one just in your pocket that doesn't need to connect to your camera, and then you could pin it on or do whatever, but we'll get you hooked up and won't distract the podcast with this nerd talk. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> no, fair enough. That's a good answer. Good, 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 good producer A answer. nasty nerd minute <laughs> with Mike. The, um, I, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's a good move, but I just, I'm a little, what I've been doing lately that's been really helped me is I, I, I always record audio on my phone always because if the camera audio gets fucked up, I always yeah. have a backup. Yeah. But what's been nice is that I've been angle it, I always put it on the stool because I have my timer as well. And I, it's so close to the people in the front that oftentimes it, it catches all their, all mm-hmm. the dialogue on my phone. Mm. So I'll layer in the phone audio. Okay. This is getting real nerdy, but yeah. I feel like people may be interested in this. Yeah. Um, so I've been, it's like that's one been guy. a second source. One guy really One guy's writing all this down. Everyone <laughs> yeah, yeah. else is like, Changed when's everything. the next hurricane story? Because that's what we're <laughs> yeah, here yeah, for. Yeah. Get back to the wind, yeah. guy. Yeah. So I don't know. That's, I, I guess I'm just like delaying doing the lav thing and I just am. I don't know. I think I'm wrong for that. So I just wanted to check in. Yeah, and see. I, think, I don't think you're already. I mean, if just just talking as a bud. Yeah. You're already doing it. Like you're already filming. You're already you're just, just that other. that element. I don't think is intrusive from what yeah. I've seen. Yeah. You know, taking the time to do it. I don't think it's that much more time than you're already taking to set up. Mm-hmm. I don't think it has anything to do with the whole like being present or anything like that. Yeah, because yeah, I'm sure I'll just stop thinking about it after a few. And I don't. Th- I also don't think that that uh, filming and all that stuff is. I don't necessarily think it is taken away. If, because I, I just think that it's, I, I've, I've, you know, you're already doing this, so you're not on the side of really thinking that it's a problem because you're doing it and it's, it's going well. But like the way I think of it was in the past to be able to sell tickets as a comedian, best case, like what you could do is just tour the country over and over and build fans like city to city. Mm -hmm. That'd be the purest. But other than that, the way people were like, they you'd have to be on TV mm-hmm. or a movie, mm-hmm. and to me, that's just as much like soul, not pure mm. methodology to get oh. attention as anything that we could say that the standups that's just for the clips. It's like yeah, it's just it's just the necessary evil in right. theory. That's, yes, that's an interesting yeah because you got to get on. I got to get on like a guest starring role in like Desperate Housewives to be to, who, like to be, be you. able You're not to a stand-up. do the Tampa Improv or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that's and then you're selling tickets as you, and then you're not you in the show. Mm-hmm. But that's like that's the dream. That's like the old showbiz dream. There, nobody has any problem with that. So that's arguably more like soul sucking. It's like than it's wearing a the fucking definition mic of sort stage. of giving up or like selling out. And you're yes, not really selling, selling out, out to sell out. Yeah, basically, yeah, right? Yeah, you know what I mean. It's a good point, but not in a bad way because everybody wants that. But like. But but if you really just wanted to be a comedian, then that's just a means to an end. I mean, it's the coolest means to it. I mean, you're famous and you're on a TV right. show or something. But like, if you wanted to be a purist about it, mm-hmm. it's like I guess I or or it, back in the day, it'd be like <clears throat> t- you know the Tonight Show or something, right? So that'd yeah. be pure. You're doing stand up on the Tonight Show. Yeah, or something. yeah, yes. Then you're making it as a stand up. People know you as a stand up for your material. You're not like you're not like the handyman on Desperate Housewives. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But even that, I would argue, even then. Cause then you're kind of doing your clean five. I just, I, I just think of the idea of like having to do certain things to get an audience or to sell tickets are, you know, especially you, you're doing stand up. Like right, I don't yeah. judge the homies that have to do sketches or things oh, like no. that. I don't judge anybody for however they're getting a fan base. Exactly. Unless it's like you're being an asshole. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Or like fucking on camera. <laughs> or, well, yeah, even yeah, then, bro, yeah. you, if you finessed bro. fucking on camera into and doing then you stand crush. up and yeah. you crush, right? that's like the coolest thing you can do. That's actually pretty boss. Because you're watching a guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I watched this guy fuck. Now he's I, making I, me I, laugh. I, I, <laughs> dude. Well, it'd be funny to be like your dude fans. Like, yeah, I watched this dude fuck. Yeah, and, then, uh, and then he just comes crushes. He's a fucking homie, dude. Yeah. Are See you? his butthole? <laughs> bro, that, dude, that'd be a trip, man. 
That'd be a trip. How how what's how famous would you do you want to would you want to be? Me? Yeah. I've thought about this a lot. Get hit me. Basically one step below like Mulaney. Like around there yeah. and like take it one notch back. Yeah, cuz you know Mul- who I like is kind of perfect is is Rory Scovel. Interesting. Like that. I don't think he which he's both of our our arguably both mm-hmm. of our probably favorite comedian. Mm-hmm. He's I want to have him on the podcast so bad, but Funniest I want to like ever. get almost better at this first. I know, I know. So yeah. I'm not like fumbling. <laughs> I don't think I'd fumble, but if I, before I have anybody, you know, important in this seat, um, I want to get the kind of the, you know, the rust off with the homies. You know what I mean? What? Uh, I missed that last part. What were no, you saying? No, nothing, dude. Nothing, dude. Just doing a lot of good impressions. Um, but that's, I don't think he's, uh, I'm like, just glad I can add a lot of value. A lot of value. Do you know what I mean? Big value add guy. Big value add guy. Yeah. We're going to take it up a notch. So, no, because he's like, he's super successful. He's been in movies. There's just I I think like he definitely lives a normal life. Yeah. There's no like yeah. can't go to fucking Like it. I always thought that like in comedy I always thought that there's there's Chris Farley's and then there's David Spades and I was I was always like all right I'm a Spade. You are spade. But I wouldn't even want to be that famous. I, I I feel like there's a certain amount of that that's uh I don't know. There's so, a lot of doing what you don't really want to do, I think a little bit there. Yeah, so why wouldn't you want to be like Spade? Fam- Let's say you okay, so you don't want to be Mulaney famous. Yeah, just a tick below that. Because, I guess actually maybe maybe know, that's but, fine. But what's what's why you not want to be as May, let's maybe because I haven't even said what my thoughts are. But I'm 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 just curious about where you're right, at. right, right. That's a good question. Um, I, yeah, I mean, you know, the biggest thing is I I do want I think the thing I want the most is freedom, and I think one of the I want to do what I like doing. Yeah, and I want to get good at those. I want to be productive mm-hmm. and ambitious and maximize what I could be, on my own sense of what that is, mm-hmm. but then have freedom. And I think a certain amount of fame, you're doing things for the fame a little bit that you wouldn't even really want to do. What's an example do. of that? <clears throat> um, I don't know. Just like you're busy. You're busy with sh- like TV shows or this or, or that. Interviews or interviews and press yeah. or what or like. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like yeah, conference yeah. calls that you're like, do I want to kind of fucking yeah. do this thing? Yeah. I mean, I think the biggest downside of all this shit is, is just being like you can't just go to target and like look at candles mm-hmm. i think that'd be weird i think that's the i think that's the really the main drawback to yeah. being like for real famous yeah like if you're if you're like you know i mean if you're fucking i mean what's like a super famous comedian i mean i don't even know anymore who's like the most famous i mean at this point matt rife i mean that there's he probably can't just like yeah i mean well yeah i don't know he's probably okay he can probably live pretty normally still i don't know you know no probably not no, yeah, you don't yeah, think yeah. so he's, get, he's getting hounded yeah yeah yeah, yeah he's He's probably well. Yeah. He looks also he, so he, specifically like. Yeah. Who is that guy? And he fucks on camera, and so that's you know you a know, lot of people. Dude, if yeah. he, it would be no more comedy. He would take everything. Oh There'd my There'd be God. no more my fucking ninety Hurricane Orlando tickets. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Everything. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know. I think like that's a good question. Yeah, I don't because I've thought about it too. Of what I think, you know, what I like think Regan. Be, remember Regan? I, I don't know because there's yeah, Regan's you're, a good it, level. It, it doesn't. It almost sounds like you're dogging them by saying this. But I mean, it, it's just no. There's a, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, it's just not out of control. It feels like they have control over their life. It yes. feels like they are. I don't know. They feel like they have success, freedom. They have everything they want. And then there's this other tick up that I, I just feel is too demanding. Like, like I, I wouldn't want uh, that. That not even pressure. I just wouldn't want to do half the shit. Yeah, I like. I would never want to be like Kevin Hart. Because he yeah. can't just go. Like, I think it's big for the big, like, for me is is not being able to go places. Mm-hmm. You can't just go do a thing. It's yes. like you got to, like, plan it out. You got to, like, you can't just go. Yeah. I think I heard, like, Eminem talk about this in some, honestly, it may have been a movie. He was, like, playing himself where he's saying, like, I can't go to Best Buy. Mm-hmm. I can't just go to Best Buy. Mm-hmm. Like, you have to plan it out. You have to, yeah, like, map that. it out. I wouldn't which, want that. That sounds really hard. Yep. 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 And, and to me, not really like, worth it. Like, no. selling, like, that many tickets is like is that even worth it if you're doing an arena it's like yeah versus what like a theater and you can go to best buy and you could even be in movies you could be in tv shows and not be that famous yeah like that's I, that's the thing I would, i'd want to do everything and never lose anything the freedom thing. i would never lose it. yeah yeah i want to be in a movie i want to do everything that's fun everything that's like that is part of the activity of doing funny things Without the other side, where you you've lost a little bit of your life, a little bit, yeah, a little bit of your freedom. What's your le- What's your least favorite part of doing stand up? The whole thing. Yeah, uh, the life of being a comedian. What's your least favorite part? 
oh, wearing a lav mic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's mine, apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good question. Um, I think being being uh, bored, um, like being bored with the jokes or having to do sets you don't feel like doing. I don't know. I think that's yeah. obvious. Yeah. I think that's obvious, right? But sometimes you just don't feel like like the room's weak. Yep. You're not feeling funny. So just so th that moment on stage where you're like, fuck, that. I gotta like get through this. Yeah. That's really sweet. And then yeah. and then uh when new when you're trying to write new material and it's not going good. Yep. That process. Tough. The most fun part, by far, two things. The homie hang. Mm -hmm. So being being with funny buddies, doing other stuff, any show, anywhere, what we're doing. Mm -hmm. But then the other one is when the idea, when you first think of an idea. Mm. That's my favorite part. Not when it works. Nope. When you think of it. When I think of it. Ooh. That's my favorite part of stand-up. Are you at a point now where do you, you if you think of a, a bit, do you, have you gotten to now, because we've been doing it around the same amount of time. Yeah. Have you been like, oh, that'll be, that's going to be funny. Yeah. Or are you still like, Meh. I thought I crossed we'll into see. I'll know. And then, yeah. and then, <laughs> and then I had did, a few you just go, it. woo. Ooh, a little too confident with this one. Dude. And it was just like, oh, I still don't know. Yeah. But, but still, even still. Those when it first when you first think of it and you go oh that's something, that's like yeah. one hundred percent. It's better than when it first succeeds. That's really fun when yeah, it first I, does I think well. You, I think to me fl flip those flip it one amount. But I love that that's just having the idea is the best part for you. I think that's by awesome. a long shot. Wow, because it's perfect. Why? And there's no you didn't lose yet. <laughs> Like, like uh, you, yeah, that's so good. <laughs> that's so true. It didn't not work yet. It's, it's like, it still it's, has the potential. It's crushing. Oh, I'm crushing. Oh, that's so funny. And I got to hear it. I don't know if you've thought of it, like if you think of it this way, but I got to hear that joke mm. for the first time. And then ever, every time after that, I've heard it before. Oh, and now you know what it does Yeah, for better or for worse. Yeah. But that first time you're like, you just picture it crushing. It's crushing. And that image of it crushing is so it, beautiful how can it get better than god that? you're so right it's just not gonna <laughs> no <laughs> i've never thought about best that. case scenario you're it does so, what you think just now i totally get what you mean when you think of it oh my god you're i've just, always said that i've always said i never crush harder than on the drive home oh my god that's dude like very that's my very funny insight sets are Oh my God! I'm so insane. glad you. Insane. Hey, you just insane. you just unlocked something. I didn't know anybody. That's like a experience you didn't realize that you have. That's so true, bro. dude. I'm in the car, being like, if I said X, Y, and Z, I would yeah. have leveled the room. Ah, the post set drive home. Your mind is crystal clear. I am murdering. It's always I have had I, I've had you can relate to this too. Like, can can I go back up? Can I oh get oh, me back dude, up? There? I'll turn this fucking <laughs> Mazda around. So. Yeah, and light dude. that bitch up. Change the room and get me back up because I yeah I, I totally one, relate. I had to that. one last night. I had yeah. a, I had such a funny crowd thing where I was talking to this woman who who I asked if she was like vegan and she was like I'm I'm like a highly inspired vegan. She was vegan like ninety nine percent of the time. It was such a perfect and I I milked it. I had fun with it, but there was still like one thing that I was like fuck. If I had asked that one question, I would have gotten the best answer. And I was so frustrated. What was the question? Cause you, it was, I, cause I, the one thing I didn't ask her is like, why, oh. why are you 1%? Oh yeah. Yeah. We yeah. did the whole, like what, like a day to day I'm, she's like, Oh, I'm, I'm, I'll eat bacon sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it was such an easy, like fun little thing, but yeah. I just didn't ask why she's the 1%. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. on the drive home, I was like, Fuck, dude. Ah, if that would have been a good. Ask, cause what a, that's such a good question. I can't believe I forgot. Ah, so I had one of those it. very. So you I should just, plant a vegan on your next. Oh, <laughs> God. We need a vegan in, in the ground. It's so brutal. Yeah. No, that that's funny you said that. That's so true. You're so funny on the way home. Crushing. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. I think the hardest part. I think to me, like the hardest part in a stand up, but lately has been like when you get a new bit to work, and then for like five times, and then the sixth and seventh time, it doesn't work. You're like, what? Do, wh where What's are happening? What, ha what is what, this? What did I? Am I? Is my cock out? Why, yeah. What the fuck is going <laughs> yeah. on? Why, like, why isn't this working? This when you do it exactly the same. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad that we all. It's all the same experiences because that. Yeah, that one too is endlessly confounding. And if you, it feels like eventually you're gonna figure that out, and then it just seems like you never figure that out. It just seems like that's always gonna be a thing. Yep. That's the new, just the new thing that works that just stops working early. After crush, yeah, you're, it's a great point where it's like it hit a few times. It wasn't just this one weird crowd, and you're like, because you can always chalk that up, mm -hmm. like the magic, the moment, the way you said it. Ah, that's the and worst. Then, and then, but then, but then it won't work one time, and you're like, that's fine, because yeah. maybe I fucked something up, and then it doesn't work again, and you're yeah. like, 
yeah, another fluke. <laughs> and it keeps not working. You're like, oh, am I just bad at comedy? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Am I just, yeah, yeah. this joke, because you're so, because getting a new joke to work, you're like, oh, ah, uh, so good. And then when it stops working, yeah. it's like, oh, uh, what do we, we had That's it. actually brutal. You talk about things that suck about stand That sucks. Because it's so hard to it. come up you with something new. You put the joke new. into the set. You're like, that's in my it's set in. now. Ah. It's in. It made the cut. Damn. And then it starts to bomb. And you're like, so you, you start panicking it, a little you bit. You got to take it out? <laughs> you got to take it out of the set? I had, I had a, a new two-minute thing. thing. And now it's gone. Because you suck. Because you're, you, you're not good at that yet. Like, oh, yeah. that kills you're, me. And you're wrong. That kills You're me. You're wrong. It's not good. You know what's been good for me lately <laughs> to do is I've, because I've been, I've been, I have this like chunk of like, I'd say like a three, two, three minute, four minute thing. And, and I've been, uh, and I've been doing it and it's like mostly been working. And I think there's been times where it's not working as well, but I've been doing this thing where I've like, I, I have been, and this is kind of like a no shit thing, but I've opened with like a few like real hitters. Mm hmm within the new stuff and i can gauge like if the if the hitters get like a b minus then when i do the new shit i'll be like oh that gets that's everything then i'm like oh now i know so i've been really trying to make sure to do that lately because you can then gauge the new versus the hitter it's like oh now we know i was the same show i was on last night with the vegan thing i was saying that to the crowd because it was like one of these weird i did a don't tell show where i was in like a gym Mm -hmm. it was way too hot Mm -hmm. and i was in santa monica one no it was in like whittier wherever they're always at gyms yeah the fact that there's multiple gym ones so many gyms (laughs) yeah yeah and and it was and i even told the crowd i was like with like a like a real good joke i i did and they were like i was like okay that's the that's the most we're cool. going to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was telling them, I was like, oh, cool, great. now that I know, that's the most this is going to be. And you talk, that's, that's great. That's the most DBs that's we're going to get to. to them. Like, just now I know, that's where we are. So we're all on the same page. So now we're all, okay, cool. You yeah. Know? Which, yeah. I don't know. I've just No, that's the way to do it. I do this. I, yeah. I, I still, 100% of the time, do that. Like, I'm, I'm not even brave enough to not do that. Like, yeah, I, I know, need I to know. know. I know. I'm so, in, I'm so uh, self-whatever scared <laughs> that my new things are going to suck. I have to know I'm for myself. I'm funny. Yeah. Well, that's before smart. I even get yeah, to it. You can't, if you're just doing, you open with new stuff and you just do new shit all the whole time. You're just, that's just, like, so now you're like, I don't know anything. Yeah. Cause what if, what if nothing were, I definitely do that all the time. I do like, I'll do, you know, there, you have those two or three jokes that you're like, these always hit. So yeah. let's, let's, let's get the baseline. Get and the then, baseline. and then that is nice. Cause then if that did kind of go, eh, and then your new shit was like, also, eh, you're like, I just cry. Yeah, new shit crushed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, know. Oh, all oh, right, oh. all right. Yeah. God, Mike, how long have we been recording for? Um, uh, hour five. Hour five. That's not bad. We could probably start to wrap it up. I think. Um, did you? I mean, obviously, we we had no real game plan going into this. Do yeah. you have anything you wanted to like touch on? Anything else you? Nah, man. Like on the drive you. here. Love you and I'm proud of you. Well, I love you too. Thanks for saying that. I yeah. appreciate it. Well, well, everyone's gonna catch. And you. I and I and I'm telling you this. I've been a lot. Of, I've been getting followers because I'm on the road with you. Your fo- your fans. Oh, they're following me, and I keep telling them, you don't have to unfollow Will because they keep un. What? They're all unfollowing you because they think they it can't be both. It could be both, and they're all coming over to me in hordes, and hordes? Then I, and I yeah, and I I hit them up. I just want you to know I'm hitting them up. You don't have to unfollow well, Will. Thanks for saying that, but they shouldn't be unfollowing. I know, I know, and they, I think a lot of them are confused. But just so you know, I'm I'm letting them know you don't have. What are they to do confused that. about though? They, they know they, who I am, and then through do they they don't have to pick one. They think yeah, they think it's one of those things where you can only follow one comedian, and so and they're going to me, and I'm saying you don't have to. You don't have to do that. Oh man! Follow Will back, so you, you're probably gonna get a push there. That's why I've lost fifteen thousand followers, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought I just. I, I, I know. I want. I, I was only saying that because I was letting you know. Yeah. I'm telling them you don't well, have to at do least that. You're telling them. Yeah, dude. Because uh, I thought I know. <laughs> I know. I know you've been bummed <gasps> yeah. and been texting me really hard. I know. <laughs> I yeah. fucking botched the vegan thing last night. Yeah. Fuck. I just want you to know that's why. Yeah. So, but no, I'm I'm proud of you, buddy. Well, thanks, dude. I'm and proud you're of you. Crushing, and I'm I'm and uh, did I say I'm crushing? Well, you you're, you're crushing with my followers. That's for goddamn sure. You're taking all of <laughs> you're them. You're crushing it, buddy. Well, thanks for being here, dude. Thanks I appreciate for bringing me you. On, on the road. I kind of want to do a thing where, like, whenever you're in town, yeah, just come on the pod, pop in. I think you're I think you're gonna be one of those guys that you're just gonna be popping. Let's you go, know, you're baby. popping guy. And so if you're if you come see me on the road, you'll likely see Nolan as well. Hey-o. You'll be with you'll be with me in uh uh all the October dates. 
You'll I'm be excited. Raleigh, Charlotte, four, uh, Columbus, Cincinnati, mm-hmm. and the Boston. I know you'll be in Boston, Hartford mm-hmm. with me. So you'll be, dude. You'll, mm-hmm. You guys get to know Nolan. He's he's one of the funniest guys I know. One of the best dudes I know. And um, and I'm glad you're here, bro. Thank you. Buddy. I appreciate you. Um, it's thanks the to dream. Mike for producing. And uh, I'll be back next week. Any last words, big dog? Damn it, Bobby. Nice. You're perfect. <laughs> <laughs>